Good morning again guys. So this is Chris. Welcome back again to my channel Chris TV where I will give you some updates of what's happening right now in the cruise line industry. Okay, so start with it's just like a week before one of the biggest cruise line industry announces that they're going to do the head start of the big cruising for 2020 after the pandemic thing. Well, it's not yet over, but they're going to do the head start. So it's going to be MSC. So they are leaving two of their big ships, guys. Two of their big ships to sail somewhere in Europe. Particularly, it's going to be in Germany, um, Greece. Uh, the other one would be in Italy. But guys, there is some updates that you need to know first prior to booking your next sail. <music> Okay, so aside from the regular health screening that the MSC is providing for the entire crew and guests, there will be an additional for this one. First would be they are requiring all the passengers and guests to have at least 72 hours validity of their PCR swab test. At least guys, 72 hours. So that's going to be 3 days validity prior to boarding the MSC ship. That's the first thing. Second thing would be it's a mandatory for everyone to wear the mask okay guys to wear the mask it's gonna be it so there are certain occasions that uh, you can remove the mask for example when you're having your dinner or any meals during the I mean during your stay in the dining area at the same time when you were in the pool area and this mask can be provided with you inside the ship so it will be provided with you guys but prior to boarding at least somehow you need to pack some some couple of pieces of it so at least you're on the safer side another thing would be at least social distancing guys it's gonna be a strict implementation of social distancing during the stay in the cruise so it's gonna be a two meters wide from person to person when you're watching the theater uh, having your meals it's gonna be two meters distance for every person MC announces that they will provide a full insurance covered for the COVID illnesses that you will have during this day. So that's a good thing in the MSC site that they're providing the full insurance. They will cover the full insurance for this one. That's a really good thing. And yeah, that's just really the, the announcement will happen during this day in MSC. And unfortunately, guys, it's quite, I mean, this news just came out a few days back that um, it's kind, kind of saddening, you know, that because it's not the MSC who provided this protocol, this new protocol, but it was Italy. Okay, as per the government of Italy, they will allow any normal cruiser or regular cruiser or whoever who's on board to get off from their ship to have a look in their city, to take some photos, videos, visit the shops, provided that they came from an approved shore excursion only. That's the only way, guys. That's the only way. For the regular cruiser that uh, you know that when the ship is very near i mean the, the ship is very near to these to the city and local shops and other restaurants that you can just walk by on your own grab the taxi ride the local shuttle buses that's not gonna happen at least this point of time so everyone should have an approved pre-excursion before you have this there's a pros and cons between these two Okay, the cons would be you have very much limited time, you know, because when you're in a short excursion, um, it can be limited to an hour or two. Because the thing is, they're trying to minimize uh, people that will stay in their country as much as possible. They're trying to limit out. At the same time, there are limited places that where you can go. Like, for example, if you want to go to a jewelry shop or have something in the grocery store, you cannot do that because that will not be part of the short excursion list. It's not going to happen. For the pros side is that, uh, well, it's really good in a way that they can have a look what's really happening during this entire short excursion leave. That um, guests can be monitored which shop they will go. Which in fact these are pre-approved prior to getting off the ship. 
so it's a pre-approved already so which is technically these shops com complied more so much more stricter precautions in terms of uh, people or guests going in their area so that's a real good thing so it will lessen guys it will lessen the risk of having this viruses from ashore going back to the ship that's gonna happen with this one so it's kind of off for the regular normal cruiser you just want to go off of the ship have a good walk and have a good look outside go shop on your things so i'm not really sure how would you wrap with this one you can just comment down what is your reaction about it but let's see it's gonna be a week from now msc will try will be doing this thing so let's see let's hope what's gonna happen in the next uh cruising so guys you can just comment down what will be your reaction and yes please let me know what are the things you want me to do in the next video that i can share with you guys or you have any information please comment it down and please guys don't forget to like to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video all right thank you guys